What's up, YouTube? Uh, got my deck updated for you guys. Uh, I know I haven't done this in a while on my Rockstone, so furthermore, let's see how it got to this new format. Um, of course, we're still running the Triple Kokimaru Guardian. Um, just a Doom Cow, but way better because you get to choose, so your opponent doesn't have to like play a little bit more server. Because Doom Cow, you can just um, it has to activate, but this one you have to choose when. And it's a 19 hitter. Um, all Koki Meru's, um, you have to reveal rock in order to keep them on the field, but even though they're still good because they're 19 beat sticks. Um, same thing with the with the wall, um, 19 hitter, uh, but this one you can tribute to negate spell, so like if a heavy storm, MST, or key card, or dark hole. You save all your monsters, or you know, it's just a really good card. It's one for one, so they're really good. Um, I'm trying out right now Double Sandman um, Tribute to Nini Trap cards like Torrential Tribute, Mirror Force, um, stuff like that. Like, so you can go aggressive. Um, MVP of the deck, Triple Fossil Dyna. Um, I know everybody wants this card as a reprint, but. At the same time, I don't want it as a reprint for the fact that everyone's gonna have it. Er you're gonna be seeing it everywhere, and for those people that play like agents or deck that just explode, you're gonna be more annoyed by this card because everyone's gonna have them. But yeah, three diners. We all know how good this guy is with a bunch of back row. One year station grandma um to bounce she and the one she and they have. Grab dragon stuff like that, or just key monsters that are, are annoying. Um, one morphing jar, morphing jar is amazing in this deck, especially when I draw all back row and I just set the morphing jar and they don't know what it is, so they just summon an attack and they lose their hand. So, um, I'll get into more plays with this. This is really, um, with this card, you have to be more strategic, like, it's more strategy than just setting it, you have to play smart with it and it will mess up your opponent one legendary jujitsu master um, it says basically if they think it's a dyna they'll hit it with like a, a smaller monster or like a boss monster so they could keep their normal monster normal summon monster I mean and it just messes them up or something I mean it's really good um, one thunder king I took out the other thunder king cause I wanna try out the second um, Sandman, so one Thunder King, we all know how good he is. Um, one Banisher, um, with this, with back row, your opponent just basically is in a good lock, especially if they're playing Twilight or something like that, Infernities, um, anything that has to do with spells and traps, like, like, Kirk Curry, they have a, the Six Time United, they can't use that either. Um, one King Tiger Wangu, um, really good against agents, uh, gadgets, um, just little, like quick draw stuff that has like little monsters. So quick draw, yeah. My King Tiger is obviously. Um, spells, double duality, I don't like three for the fact that you'll get both in, or like one or two in hand. And I don't like that. So two dualities is fine. Um, double D Fissure, um, just a really good card this format um, takes out their um, all their filters for Master Hyperion um, their Twilight cards like their Light Swords um, just any deck that relies on the Grave D Fissures is perfect um, Double MSTs uh, I don't like 3 and I hardly even play MSTs I always side them out but MSTs are still good uh, Double Smashing Still a good card, um, especially against Stardust or Scrap Dragon. When I have Dyna, summon Dyna, they let that go because they don't think I have anything, and then I'll smash, and their plays are ruined. So it's really good. Uh, one Dark Hole, Staple, and the uh, one Book of Moon. Then for traps, we got uh, Double Dark Brain. Um, I find it's better than Seven Tools because it's a Dark Hole, um, Heavy Storm, MST, my key cards again. And I need the back row. Um, Dark Bright is there to save me. Um, 
double D prison I might bump this up to three I'm not sure yet but I mean the format's a little slow so but for right now two's fine and we got double bottomless uh, this is actually really good this format like sorry Hyperion, Bialis, Dark Arm, JD um, just a lot of good cards you could hit and the Fallen Brigade double winning Judgment, one Mirror Force, one Starlight Road, <laughs> and the key cards, I mean the best cards in the deck, um, Mind Crush and Trap Death Shoot. Um, if you open this up, you pretty much got game. Right there. And there's a lot of times where I draw this hand, and it's just stupid. Like I defissure and I keep the mind crush and trap the shoot and I just duality whatever let's say I get a bottomless it don't matter set it they're gonna try to bait out the warning I mean the bottomless so they're gonna summon some stupid monster they're gonna, they're gonna attack and then they hit into morphing guard defissure so all their monsters are gonna be grave and then when he draws his new hand on his turn that's when you trap the shoot mind crush and that really hurts them even a lot more so I mean this deck is really good um, for the fact that it's not only anti-meta they're big hitters and it it works great so um, let me get into the side deck um, not a lot of people side this but I do um, <laughs> if you have one, uh, two more supers I only have one super um, trade me uh, prohibition is really good um, if you know how to play, if you've been playing in your locals a lot and you know um, your opponent's deck and key cards, let's example six samurais. Their key card is the uh, Kagamusha, the tuner. You take that out. You're playing um, Machina. You take out their fortress um, MSTs, whatever. So you usually side out MSTs. Because they're going to set in the third MST. So I prohibition their MSTs. And they have dead MSTs in their hand. Um, so you play smart with this. Um, the whole soul release. Um, I actually liked it better than DD Crow and stuff like that. Uh, I beat a Light Swarm player just because of this. I took out his whole grave. I looked at his deck. Well, I didn't look at his deck. But I looked at his grave. And I... Knowing him, how he plays, he only played some certain cards at one. Like, well, of course, Lumina, but like certain cards, so I'll just be taking them out, taking them out, and I'll be taking out their Necro Gardeners, uh, stuff like that. Uh, double Cyber Dragon for the um, anti meta GVs or Black Wings or even Machina for Curry Curry matchups, so they're really good. Uh, one Tender King. Uh, one cookie marrow salmon and my MVP of my side is morphine jar number two if I'm playing with a deck that explodes um, I'm gonna have three fossil magnets to answer that and double morphine jar so the chances of um, getting out of an explosion especially with stardust on the field morphine jar number two is the answer for that uh, another king tiger wangu um, just hurts a lot of decks again. Um, and another good card, Trap Hole, um, works amazing with the Fissure. Especially when I'm playing Grave Keepers, um, Machinas, um, even GBs. GBs, it hurts them when I Trap Hole them with a D Fissure. It just screws them over. Um, <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, and then we got Shadow Imprisoning Mirror and Light Imprisoning Mirror. I haven't really tried them. I just sided them out last, like last minute. But um, I'm gonna go to my locals on Sundays. I usually I go Sundays and Thursdays, so I'll try them out right there. And extra deck, uh, Double Utopia, Steel Storm Roach, uh, Levite Number Seventeen. Lavier, this one's really good. I have a couple level threes, um, Banisher and Juju, and I could bring back Fossil Dino for my removal from play if it's by defense or stuff like that. So it's really good. I bring back my monsters, um, Wintress, um, 
my level 8 Scrap Dragon, Colossal Fighter, um, Thought Ruler, and Stardust. Um, one Black Rose, Bryonic, um, Liberian, Taster, and one kind of attack. Um, even though I don't synchro, um, I do it seed sometimes when I know I could. Um, so it's still good to have your extra deck just in case something stupid happens, like they creature swamp you or stuff like that. So extra deck in stud is always good. Um, so yeah, that's the deck, you guys. Um, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Peace.